What? Why are you so quiet, Whitney? Don't you believe in fate? Well, yeah. Hmm. Sure. I mean, sometimes. But I certainly don't think it's the reason that Ethan is out here in Los Angeles at the same time as Teresa. How much more proof do you need? Okay, uh, come on, come on, listen, all right? I imagined, imagined Ethan being here, okay? And then the next thing I knew, he was here. He was in that bed, and we were kissing Whitney. Now, now, if that's not meant to be, I don't know what is. You know what? You two are going to have to work this out on your own, because uh, i got to go get dressed, okay? Hey, I hate to go, but I don't want to be late to the studio. Wow, baby. Look how handsome you look. Yes. My big shot music producer. <laughs> I hope my bosses think so. Oh, gosh, they will. Are you kidding? You're going to knock them dead. <laughs> you know what? You and me are going to finish this conversation a little bit later. But I'm going to walk my big, sexy man to the door. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, I'm going to go take a shower. <laughs> oh, kiddo. You call when I get a free minute. Okay. 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 Right. And look, I'm sorry. We didn't have enough time to get adjusted until I started working full time. Hey, Ma, this is a wonderful break for your career. It's all right. I don't mind. Really, I'm going to be just fine. You sure? I'm positive. Come on, Teresa's here. Fox is here. They're going to keep me plenty busy, don't worry. Now, don't forget, you said you're going to keep Whitney entertained today. <laughs> I'll keep Whitney company whenever. Chat's not a problem. I appreciate that, man. You made me feel a lot better. Well, you know, what are friends for? I guess I better get going. I don't want to be late for my big meeting. So where's this big meeting at, anyway? Uh, the Polo Lounge. All right. Whoa, the Polo Lounge? At the Beverly Hills Hotel? You're kidding me. No, that's where I'm going. Oh, my God. I mean, I just, I just can't believe this. So I've always dreamed about going to the Polo Lounge ever since I first saw it on TV. I mean, it's where all the movie stars and big-time producers go. I can't believe it myself. I mean, a kid from the hood going to one of the hottest restaurants in L.A. Very impressive. I'm still pinching myself. Hey, come on, you made it happen. Your talent and all of your hard work. You only deserve the best. Thank you for believing in me. Having the woman I love by my side has made all the difference. And one of these days, I am going to take you for breakfast at the Polo Lounge. <laughs> That's a date. You won't have her long, Chad. Not for long. So what are we doing today? Oh, <laughs> I'm open for anything, I guess. But I do want to get Teresa out of this apartment and away from Ethan. You're really worried that she thinks fate's what brought Ethan out here, huh? Yeah, I am. I'm worried. Teresa has caused herself so much heartache because of this silly belief she has in fate. And you're not buying it. No, I mean, <laughs> she really believes that... She and Ethan have a future together, like Cinderella and Prince Charming. It's just not going to happen for her. You sound so sure. Ethan and Gwen are married. They're expecting a child. They love each other. I mean, how can it happen? I don't know. Um, I think that uh, sometimes, um, you know, two people are together, they... They think that they're right for each other and that they're supposed to spend the rest of their lives together. And then maybe, um, you know, one of them meets the person they're really supposed to be with, the right person. And, uh, well, it just kind of changes everything. Have you ever seen that happen? I mean, it happens. I mean, who knows, maybe, maybe that's what's happening between Gwen and Ethan. Maybe Teresa's the right woman for Ethan. Maybe she's the one. 